welcome back to another episode of Ducking Around the Flower. I'm pretty sure we're lost, but Mr. Orange just doesn't want to admit it. Uh, he says he's not lost, but he doesn't know where he is. So, lost. road and then it told us to go into this neighborhood and now we're about to cross the main road from this dirt road so yeah we shall see and I'm always in second gear when I shouldn't be it's annoying I mean if he could do it pretty sure we could do it Oh, maybe he doesn't think he can do it. Ah, oh, you could do it, Prius. Not oh, you get space. All right, so we are on 2N93. It's Lost Horse Willow, no, Wild Horse Meadow. Wild Horse Meadow. The only reason I wanted to go is because I like the name. I don't know. I don't have a horse. I've only ridden a horse like three times. And I think I'm afraid of horses. But I like the name. So I'm like, yeah, let's do it. It's a little rocky. I wonder if they'll actually be wild horses. water. Whee! Or maybe they're mountain biking. I like mountain biking if it's all downhill. I don't like riding up. Yeah. Pedaling up a hill is just I get that it's like reward going downhill for the hard work you did to get uphill and I could get behind that if I didn't hate it so much. This is a pretty fun little trail. It's not bad. Butterfly just tried to kill me. So I took the forks that were leaking down to a place. I don't like calling people out because I don't know. I just, you know. Anyway, so they charged me 40 bucks to change out the copper washers and the o-rings and two days later it was leaking again so so on last weekend mr orange picked up the compressor compression Compre 
valve thing that's on the bottom of the fork and he replaced it and it hasn't leaked since so they replaced the washer that was attached to the assembly but they didn't replace the assembly even though the forks are like you know 15 years old so I don't know then they charged me for that and it was like and it still leaked so I'm not too happy with that I don't I don't know that it's worth the drive to go have them do more work on the suspension. Yeah, it charged me 40 bucks to change out that. And they have all the tools to do it, so it probably didn't take them as long as it took Mr. Orange. And he had to do something weird because the bottom nut was so tight. Like he couldn't get it. He like runs a shop, you know. Couldn't get it on. Couldn't get it loose. So they had to like do some witchcraft to get it unstuck. So and it hasn't leaked since. And they should really attach a motor to that. <laughs> a car fell off? Did he say how far? So the guy on the bicycle back there said that there were three cars up ahead blocking the road trying to get a car off the edge of the cliff. Do you see it? Oh fuck. Do we have to turn around? Balls. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I saw the ditch and I'm like, I don't think I like that. I don't want to fall down the cliff. Oh shit. It's cool. It happens. It's going to happen again. entertaining for a minute yeah
buddy number three. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> check out the map and go from there and see you know what the ratings are we're not trying to be like hardcore we're just exploring because it's too hot in the desert Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack.